right, welcome back to Cop TV. Do you like this sound? So hit the like button because today we're going to recreate the accurate sample of Michael Jackson's Bit It. Yeah, that legendary sound came with the Synclavier back in 1981 in a vinyl demonstration and Michael Jackson used it in the legendary song and today we're gonna learn how to recreate it with Synth 1, a free plugin based in the Clavernard Lead 2 because of course the Synclavier is no longer in production and even if it would, that is too expensive but the Synth 1 plugin is totally for free, no pranks. This is an amazing virtual analog synthesizer that features two oscillators, one sub oscillator, individual modulation control and, believe it or not, 16 unison voices polyphony. Here is where the magic happens so you can add more layers to turn the simple set more realistic. Let's discover how to recreate it next. This video is made possible by the Sim Track Volume 2, a simple set pack for Synth 1, the virtual analog synthesizer based in the Clavia Nord Lead 2, yeah, the Red Famous Synth, with 128 presets inspired by the great names from the 1980s such as Michael Jackson, New Order, Queen, OMD, the patch mode and more 24 artists and bands and their iconic hits in a single preset pack the 40 percent discount at copo de services holiday deals is coming to an end so don't let this opportunity escape at copodeserve.com link in the description back to the synth recreation let's play a little bit of the synth sound and see how accurate it is <laughs> Of course, I can't play the exact song here for obvious copyright issue reasons. This way I've fragmented the original audio, so you can compare them and play them along. Let's compare the original audio. And now the sound I've designed it with Simp1. Yeah, of course, it is not 100% accurate, but maybe 95%. That's thanks to the difference in the engine that the Synclavier used back then. If you don't know, the Synclavier is a monster synthesizer, actually one of the first commercial synthesizer with FM parameters available in the market. It was, and it is, quite expensive, but here, just here, you learn how to recreate the sound totally for free. So let's do it. When you first download Synth 1, this is the initial sounds that comes with. Let me disable the effects that I've used to add more flavor, I'll talk about them later. And this is the initial sound of Synth 1. <laughs> That's an amazing synthesizer, though it is not the newest one. As you can see, that version was released back in 2014, over 10 years ago. By the way, since this video has been recorded in January 3rd, 2025, Happy New Year! I hope you're doing well and let's keep creating! Let's start with the oscillators. Synth 1 has three oscillators, two main oscillators and one sub oscillator that can be triggered one octave above, helping to give more layers to your sample set in the final result. So first, set the first oscillator in a salt tough waveform, set the second oscillator with a square waveform so we can control later the pulse width in a specific waveform, and finally set the sub oscillator as the first one in a salt tough waveform. Make sure to keep the octave one unit below. Next, make sure the second oscillator is tracked, otherwise when you press any key, it will keep the same note for the second oscillator and that's not what you want. So make sure the track button is activated here with its two knobs. Let's set the pitch two octaves above. Note that when the octave is aligned in one exact unit, the red LED is turned on. Otherwise, that is not aligned and you kind of have a uh, ring modulation effect. That's also not what you want, at least not for now. Go into the fine tune knob, make sure this parameter is 
totally aligned as a previous parameter that happens when the red LED is turned on. Good to go. One important thing, make sure to write your preset so you're not lose. The Let's click the right button and save it as Sinclair Gong. That's not the exact name of the original preset. Well, let's keep that way at least for a while. Here you can choose one empty slot for a preset and higher you can choose an empty slot for a preset bank. So let's save in a bank slot two I've created before. The program is number two. The same preset name is Sinclair Gong. We can choose different colors so we can group different presets for these different colors. Let's keep it white, click OK. And if you don't know how to set a new bank, click twice in an empty slot, choose a folder in your computer, click OK. I will not do it since I did it before and confirm clicking OK. Now, very important, back to the oscillators, set the FM parameter just like I'm doing exactly in this angle. That's crucial to make this synth preset similar to the original Synclavier sound. Click right. And now let's activate the modulation envelope for the second oscillator. One interesting fact is that you can trigger both in the second oscillator, both in the FM parameter, both in the pulse width control. So later you can try different combinations to reach different results. But for this preset, let's keep the second oscillator destination. Keep the attack all the way down, set the decay about a half and increase a little bit of the amount. That further, we're gonna help to give an extra punch in the same preset. Let's adjust the decay a little bit more. Very short. Good, let's keep it this way. Now let's turn off both LFOs because it's time to set the amplifier envelope. First, set the attack all the way down. And now it is starting to sound like the original preset. Let's increase the decay parameter and decrease the sustain all the way down. Very good. Let's do the same to the release. Just don't put it all the way down, but decrease a considerable amount of the release parameter. Let's turn the gain lower and you can let the velocity parameter the way it is. Good, save, and let's go to the future envelope control. Basically the same as the amplifier. The attack goes all the way down, the K goes a lot higher, the sustain disappears, let's keep it just a little bit high, keep the release just a little bit lower. The future amount can be kept the same. Now turn the frequency parameter a little lower, just like I'm doing, and the resonance a little higher. Do the same to the saturation parameter and set the track parameter all the way down. Finally, turn off the velocity button. And make sure to keep the pass filter as the LP24. Good to go. Now set the delay tempo all the way down. Keep the chorus or flanger the same. And here is where the magic happens. Let's turn on the innocent button and see how different it sounds with it. Before, after. Now it is turning similar to the original one. Go on below, add four polyphony voices to the innocent function. Now that's starting to sound like a synclavier. Increase the tune between the oscillators. And in this last parameter, the pitch control, set it one octave below. Good. We're nearly there. Let's set the decay in the modulation envelope lower. And there you go. This is the original sound used by Michael Jackson and beat it.
Let's add some effects to give it more flavor. I'm using Tower Verb 4 to the reverb. And though Synth 1 has a built-in equalizer, I'm using this amazing EQ by Viator DSP. Both plugins can be downloaded for free. Link in the description. Let's activate and set the parameters. If you like the muffled sound, turn the amount parameter in the future modulation lower. And this is how we recreate the amazing, the legendary Sinclair sound and Michael Jackson's Beat It intro. Let's listen to that, the original first. Now the synth one sound. Not bad, if you like it, please hit the like button and comment below the sound design tutorial you want me to bring next. If this video helped you just a little bit, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And don't let it check the synth track volume 2, the synth for set pack with 128% inspired by the great names in the 1980s with 40% discount at copaudioserve.com. See you in the next video, goodbye and happy new year. We can even recreate the craft work presets with this and the amazing. Let's recreate the preset that Rob Hooter used in Showroom Dummies. Get back to the original preset. This is what you hear when you download it and install it on your computer. Good. So now let's transform it in the craft work sound of Showroom Dummies. Let's activate the square waveform for above oscillators.